Hello, my name is Greg and in this tutorial I will show you how to create your 3D Unity game. We will create something like this, where we can run and our character is animated. So let's begin! Ok, first thing you will need is the 3D models. I suggest you check out this Cinti Studio guys. They have a lot of different cool packs which you can choose from, there is a lot of themes and actually right now like uh, when I am recording this video, they are on sale, so I have uh, this haste pack uh, here, so I'll use it during this tutorial. But you can choose their free pack, uh, which is like completely free, and uh, it has all the assets you need for prototyping your game. Second thing, animations. There is this cool site called Mixama.com, and you can download animations from there. Uh, it is completely free, but, uh, for now we'll need only running animation and idle animation. Don't forget to check in place button, because we'll move our character ourselves, uh, not with animation of course. So just make sure that you've checked this checkbox and uh, click download button. Ok, next step, let's set up our project. Go to your Unity Hub and uh, create a new project. Think up of some cool name. <laughs> I'm I'm not so good with names, so and uh, also check that you have 3D template selected. Next thing we want to import our pack from Asset Store. There is an Asset Store under Window menu. Go there and select your pack. After that, you can click Import button and uh, it will be imported into your project. Okay, next thing. Let's add animations to our project. Create folder called animations and drop animation downloaded from Mixama there. I'll fast forward all the settings which you need to do with uh, animations, but I'll link cool tutorial in the description, check it out. Ok, now let's create our player. First of all, you want to create prefab. Uh, just create an uh, empty game object, call it player and drag and drop it into your prefabs folder. We want to find some model, some character model. So let me use this FBI agent for now. Let's add character controller script here. Make sure the character controller capsule fits your character. And also let's add camera here. Firstly I want to create camera container which will be positioned in the head of our character and because we are making third person game uh, let's add camera into our camera container and I'll position the camera behind the shoulder of our character. Ok, now it's coding time! Let's create a folder called scripts and uh, in this folder let's create a script called player controller. Ok, first task we need to do is create actually movement. Let me fast forward through code writing. Ok, in this code we have a link to character controller. We have a speed which we can adjust from the Unity. And in the update method we are calling a move character function. So in this move character function we get input and uh, simply enough we call character controller dot move uh, function. This function actually moves our character controller through built-in functions. Okay, now prefab let's set our player controller script to our character and uh, don't forget to drag and drop character controller to the character controller field in our script. Ok, now let's check it out. Our character is moving but we don't have gravity, let's add it. Ok, so what we have here? Uh, we have vertical speed uh, variable, we have gravity variable. If our character controller is grounded, we want our vertical speed to be zero, otherwise we want our vertical speed to decrease. Ok, now let's check it out. Our character is affected by gravity, that's what we wanted. Next step, camera rotation. We want our camera to rotate our character if we move our mouse from left to right. And we want our camera to look up and down if we move our mouse up and down. Let's create another method in update called rotate character. And uh, here we'll take input axis for mouse X and mouse Y. We'll rotate our transform for horizontal move and we'll rotate camera container for vertical move. Also, th this part of code is clamping our camera rotation to look up and look down limits. Don't forget to drag and drop your camera container in player prefab. Also, let's add this minor function. Awake function is called on the start of the game. 
So set cursor not visible and lock to the center of the screen like in the real games. Okay, our game looks cool enough. We can rotate our track, we can go here and there, we can look up and down. And there is only one little thing left. Animations. Let's add them. Okay, take your animation controller, you can create it by right click. Let's take our animations and drag and drop them. Okay, after that in parameters tab, let's add is running bool parameter. We'll set it from code to true or false. Also, let's create um, transitions which will transit if our parameter is set to true or false. Assign controller field in the animator to our animator controller. Okay, and code is simple enough. Let's have our animator and we'll set it from Unity. Let's go to move character function because we want to know our speed. And let's just set our bool variable to true or false if we are running or not. Don't forget to drag and drop animator <laughs> because we want our link to be set. And let's check it out. Looks good enough. Stay tuned and we'll create some more mechanics with you. Thank you for watching, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Bye!